concluding episode you know we must understand one thing after all this discussion that cinema is an urban medium it is born in the cities made in the cities and mostly reflects the ideology of the cities you know and yet these writers composers music directors they were very disturbed by what kind of a surrounding they are living in and what have they endured and engendered in a way you know that is this what we were looking for when we started off you know so many years ago so i think that's something very strongly coming through in a film like parashakti in 1952 when avm produces this film and they are actually critiquing the city through a dancer who's dancing like a madman on the street and this is an iconic song you know in every urbanizing film any any film that marks the urbanization if you notice they were quietly adapted that particular period scenario hmm. so if you're talking about the dancing and all that I would I would rather say they are actually mocking at the false happiness. Yes. If you're talking about urban deprivation, mm. I would call it that way. Correct. They have only mocked at it. Yeah, They mocked at it. Mocked yeah. at the true, urban true, thing. True, true. Yeah. But so interesting that you use a guy who is singing Tandava Pone, you know, mm. is it like I'm dancing like a madman. Mad so it is interesting that an activism statement coming through a so called madman who is pretending to be that a madman that's why they they put the lyrics so strong they put they some gnanam kalvi isan pusa ellam kasin mun seladadi what is important in the city in the city like only money money nothing else matters <laughs> நல்லவனானாலும் இல்லாதவனை காசின் முன் செல்லாது you can move a move a dime exactly. without the money in your hand exactly. you know and that that happens with a hero who comes to the city quite rich made poor like and he is made poor by the city and then he says here the money correct, is important correct. somewhere i feel there's a nice counter in a film like anubhavi raja anubhavi <laughs> when nagesh comes out on the streets and yeah. almost like a similar madman yes, but he is singing you know this song called madras dalla madras what is it how do you contrast these two songs i would say that was a serious take huh. on life being bad this is a funny take here whatever people in the village they say they say is one's a kettum patanam say is was is one uh, favorite saying here if you want to uh, if you've dog, gone to the dog go to the city you know <laughs> so there nagesh imagines that the city is going to be very beautiful and very welcoming yes. where he says be a copy at the mm table todaikide so which means yeah, yeah. nothing is good as you think the city is not anything in very true and how quickly they mock at the uh, the rise and i mean the, the big, inequality yes smart seat katta kanaka veet irukku and road to mela sila padukaga yes they show the comparison of that and nobody goes slow where are you heading metra nalla metra metra nalla metra meduva kore ugayarum ille inge sariya tamil pesa aalum ille meduva pore ugayarum ille inge sariya tamil pesa aalum ille aambalakkum bambalakkum vithyasam konalle aambalakkum bambalakkum vithyasam konalle aniyayam Funness, he is not speaking good tamil too he is exactly. speaking a slang and he says this tamil is bad very true so all i i i really think this is a perfect take to 
mock at the city life with fun. Yes, yes. Without taking it very seriously. But this is absolute fun. Yeah, you absolutely. can listen to this. And then he has shot it in real traffic. Real traffic. To real places, real yeah. beach, everything is real. <laughs> and quite opposite to that is Patanathir Pogalandi. Ah. Which is, you know, done if like you the stage. start me off with that song, I will go <laughs> never ending. Because I really feel how beautifully they have imagined the song with the husband and wife. The husband saying everything is going to be good in the city. And the wife mocks at everything about the city. Very true. And then finally she says, Poli su puli puli ko ella. No, okay. Finally, you will go behind the bars. You will, you will drink. You will smoke. Everything. She, mm. she attributes all the vices to the. In fact, mm. I made a special mention about this one line. Mm. She says, anybody who comes from the village to the city, noor la one mail apu gude, matta di alna latri edikid. Not that everybody who comes to the city flourishes. Yeah, this yeah. city will only give life to one. All the others are paupers. Look at the way the villagers have imagined the city also. He says, if I come to the city, I will smoke, I will sleep, and I can be, I can relax, and I will wait for the night. That's yeah. what he says. <laughs> but she says, boss, that's not the reality. Exactly. The city has something else to you. Very Finally, you'll go to the prison. Mm. Oh my God, that's a no, It's very interesting that a woman has to make this comment Amazing and the statement. So. That's very important, Amazing you know. So. That I mean, how will women there feel? There are so many songs uh, like uh, in another song uh, where uh, she says, Maavu Mishinu Tanave Arakyu. All these things are mock at the urbanization. Oh my God. Very. On the other hand, you have a, a rip, uh, no, no, an early MGR kind of a movie sitting on a horse cart and he goes through empty streets <laughs> singing Nenjumundu Nairamayundu. So you wonder what is, is this a, is this a mockery a comment on these cities which are all Yes, he does go by and he shows the contrast between the slums and the, the very heavy duty, you know, bungalows and all that. But MGR having to do this song in a rather casual way, what do you say about that? It's because it's the same concept where he says, Anand Parkira Maligai Katti, Avan Argil Nole Kudise Katti, Purnana Pair Undri Parisulvar. So the mocking is at different angles where you can see he also admires the beauty of the city, but still, he mocks at the uh, the minus points mm. and he, at one juncture you can see today statues have become common that he will look at the Anadurai statue yes, yes. and make a <laughs> or vanakam he will make. So such things happen. I think more because it because it was MGR and the horse and the Kudra and right, whatever. Right, 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 right. They made the points very subtle. It mm. is not as hard hitting as um, Patanam Dan or It is not hard hitting. Yeah. He also enjoys the urbanization. Yes, but yes. Gives it a tinge of saying that right. it's not as happy as a village. And then, of course, you see the the urban area is also the hotbed of students yeah. and higher education. And higher education promises so many things, but ultimately they deliver very little of what they promise. And so. There is one particular song in Rajanagam, you know, out of nowhere, you know, there is a film like this and Srikanth plays the role. Sometimes I feel poor, I'm singing alone somewhere, you know, there are no student body, anything behind him. But the plea that he makes, you know, that why are you treating students like this? We have come here to be educated and not to be treated like pawns on a chessboard. Madipa, <laughs> <laughs> 
ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕಾಟವ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಅ ಸಾಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡನ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಯಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಆಂಗರ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಫೈನಲಿ ಸಂಬೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಸ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ರೆಷನ್ also needs to be part of activism you know you can't always be soft you know molly coddling it you know you, yeah. and you have to deliver in the call, call a spade a spade you yeah. call it a spade a spade yeah. so you know that brings to me very interestingly that the very same producers who made parashakti in 1952 in 82 they make a, another revolutionary film with vijay kant you know with actually countering whatever the dmk stood for at that time and that is so interesting that when he says yerumele eppadi porukum how are you going to control a volcano aggression at its full height yeah. Yeah. and uh, what would you like to comment about that song eri mele eppadi porukum is probably as i told you it was it is these are all the songs which uh, came to vijay kant hmm. much before he even decided to be a politician, politician right, right so maybe it would have been inside him hmm. he would have thought about it all but eri mele eppadi porukum as you said i would only look at it as avm's adaptation to the changing society mm. if you as you write it said yes. it's, it's a dynamic change towards the adapted society and when when it comes to this kind of aggression he he touches the the lower class he says nam kanneer sindum jaadi ini aludal varadi needi so that is the catch line he says no point crying here after fight it out not just fight i mean revolt something that will lay foundation to a new revolution ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಕಿ <laughs> Mm-hmm. and so we decided to make this film on a cement factory and says let us use bardi's life and attack the cement factory and the air pollution that they were causing all around it and so when he saying acha millai acha millai uchi meedu vaane endu vidugindra podilum acha millai we will not be afraid even the sky in heavens fall upon our head we shall not fight and i remember you know when i when we composed the song and made spb sing like one mad man you know so what begins is the tandavam the mad man in parasakti he really sings like a madman in the song tuchaga enni nammai kuru seida podinum achamillai achamillai achamenpadillaye tuchaga enni nammai kuru seida podinum achamillai achamillai achamenpadillaye achamillai achamillai achamenpadillaye achamillai achamillai achamenpadillaye in a way at somewhere we to conclude we should we not say that bharathiya was probably the leader of activism and awakening yes definitely because i'm sure as we are tracing the history of film music in many ways activism started way back in dk patamal hmm. if you remember she was banned she was banned from singing in films and uh, concerts because she sang a song in tyagabhumi mm. which uh, invoked patriotism that was mm. pre independence yes. so and then bharatiya's songs in namirvar everything was activist i think he symbolized, he symbolized activism in many many areas mm. and his followers obviously his followers Very i true. would say after bharatiya if you're talking about activism i would really put patakote aras the mm. top man mm. because he had his way of uh, preaching everything whatever he believed you know revolution communism and atheism also yes so that happened with patakote or more so i would i would call bharatiya if he led the foundation there were a few others they were the pillars, pillars. so obviously <laughs> yes so with those tributes to bharati 
<laughs> we thank you for being part of this program and we thank the Max Miller Bhavan for giving us this opportunity. We take an opportunity to thank you also, sir. It was a great uh, experience talking with you because I know a few things, but you know a lot of things. So I have learned a lot from this discussion. I hope I was some use to. Oh, know. yes, okay. definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. And we thank all you viewers for watching this. Thank you. Thank you.